Hello and welcome back to my channel, Jeez Louise, my name is Louise and today I'm going to draw three ideas of my favourite food for how to fill your sketchbook and if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, make sure to do so. I will leave a link to the playlist right here in the video. Enough rambling, let's just get into the video. Hello and welcome to the voiceover part of this video. So today, as I mentioned, I'm going to do three of my favorite foods and these are foods I could eat all the time, like all day, every day, I could eat it all the time. It is my absolute favorite foods. Um, first off, I'm drawing a raspberry and I thought a lot about whether or not I should make this like only healthy foods but then I was like nah because I have a lot of um, favorite foods and they're not all healthy and you should eat whatever makes you happy and not think about whether or not it is quote unquote healthy as you will see this is the only healthy thing which is my favorite food but I think if you eat whatever your body wants and you eat in moderation and of course always eat until you're full none less none more then you should be good to go and that is all of the body positivity I will be saying in this video so as you can see today I'm working with pencils color pencils and I really honestly do this too little. I have a lot of colored pencils. I probably have about a thousand colored pencils because I'm a hoarder and I'm also a collector and I like to collect art supplies and if I see a brand of pencils I have to have them all. I am a Pokemon generation, what can I do? So as you can see I am working with some of my Faber-Castell pencils. I got these at Christmas from my sister-in-law. She was so sweet to give me these and I also have my Blick Studio pencils which I got when I was studying abroad in New York. So I'm just going in with a base color and layering and layering and layering and trying to be a more realistic artist which I am clearly not as you will see when this video progress. I just cannot stop making cute characters but yeah nothing much really else to say about this raspberry it's a raspberry and yeah as you can see i tried to do a lot of shading and stuff with the back side of the raspberry like the whole part the middle part whatever you want to call it i tried to do that a bit darker with a purple color And as we watch this very satisfied part of the video where I just draw a lot of circles, I really want to know what is your favorite foods? Do you have something you could eat all the time and is it available to you? Is it like accessible? Because I find that raspberries are only like accessible some parts of the year and other parts it's like crazy expensive. So I'm actually about to move to another city and my mother-in-law promised me to have a part of her raspberry bush i think it's called yeah so i'm getting a sapling of that so i can have my own raspberries in my own little garden with my boyfriend and i'm so excited about that and i cannot wait because she seriously has the best raspberries in her garden ever if you don't know this, and it's probably just me being a crazy raspberry person, but there are two types of raspberries. There are the like firm ones and the not so firm ones. I don't know how to pronounce or say it in English, but they're just really dull. And luckily my mother-in-law has the very firm, very juicy, very tasteful ones. And I could just seriously eat all of them. And the funny part is she doesn't even like them herself so every time I'm there I'm not sure actually if it's because of me or not but she told me she doesn't really like them so she doesn't really eat them herself so last summer I had the opportunity and 
was very grateful to pick all of her raspberries every once in a while and have them for a snack. And the best part is you could also like freeze them and use them in your smoothies. I do that all the time, but it's kind of expensive to get raspberries that often. But when I do see them on a bargain or a sale, I stock up. But as quickly as I stock them up, as quickly I've eaten them again. So yeah, it's a continuous journey <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, as you can see, I just finished my raspberry. I'm quite satisfied with it. Um, I mean, I don't really do realistic that much. I could probably have done a lot of more heavy shadowing and darker colors, but I think this is good for now and I can always practice to be better. And yeah, I'm just drawing some silly pose on this raspberry and a cute little face. I think this is a ballet raspberry. What do you guys think? Comment down below what you think this raspberry is doing. But yeah, here it is, my cute little raspberry person. And quickly on to the next favorite food. This one is probably kind of silly and kind of childish, but this has been my favorite dish since I was like a kid. And it honestly still works. Like when I was a student, I would eat this a lot because it's so cheap and so yummy, I think. And it is so easy to make as well. It takes like 10 minutes and you don't really have a lot of dishes because you can cook it all in one pot. What do you guys think this is? Comment down below and don't cheat. But yeah, to the quick person you might have noticed i drew two hot dogs and in denmark we don't really call it hot dogs we call it sausages but we also use them in hot dogs and i guess it's called hot dogs in america um but yeah it's two red hot dogs and you probably guessed it pasta um yeah i really love to make spaghetti and hot dogs and just pour on a lot of delicious ketchup and that's a super delicious dinner for me and super easy as well as you probably can tell i tried a different style with this one so i tried to make it more stylistic um kind of inspired by centangle and all of the outer lines i kind of just highlighted and made bolder and all of the inside lines of all of the tiny little pasta noodles I made thinner so I have this set of Faber Castell pit artist pens and I just used a thicker one for all of the outlines and I think it really made the piece look a bit more cohesive and I was in fact debating on whether or not to just keep it like this without color without silliness but you will learn I could not help myself. So of course I'm going to add some colors and of course I'm going to add some silliness as well. But for now you'll just have to enjoy all of these strangely odd and satisfying lines which make up the pasta. But yes, these are all the colors I'm going to use for this one. Um, it's just a bunch of red and yellow and oranges and they go really great together because it's the same kind of color and yeah, I think it turned out really great and I talked to my boyfriend and we're actually going to hang it in our new kitchen so yay for me and I'm probably going to make some more of these kind of poster-ish art pieces to hang in my kitchen. If you are interested in a print of this one, do let me know or if you want a print of any of the other ones and I will make them available for you in my Etsy store in the near future. But yeah, 
let's just get onto the coloring and I did try to do some shading on these hot dogs but it just didn't really work out that great I think um, the values are a bit too close to each other so I could have had a darker red on the outer corners and maybe a lighter one on the inside as you can see here I'm just filling it all out and I did use three different shades of red and brown but yeah, it just kind of smooshed together, but I think it looked really cute in the end as well. Another thing I want to ask you, because I have done pasta and hot dogs in various different ways over the years. Um, have any of you tried that hack where you put the pastas like through the sausage and does it work? I'm curious to know because in my cooking I usually put the hot dogs in the boiling water with pasta five minutes on because they only need five minutes or otherwise they'll crack all over and yeah I'm not really sure how do you do that if you put the spaghetti through the sausage but another fun way to do it my dad used to make these weird octopus kind of sausages so you take a sausage and you slice it two times so it makes like four little legs and you only slice it like halfway through and then you put it on a pan and cook it and it comes out as these little funny squid kind of things with legs like four legs and it's really fun to eat um, and we had it a lot when I was growing up and also to a one of my sister's birthdays i believe it was like part of the buffet and it's just a really fun cute way to chew your sausage if it kind of looks too boring to just have like spaghetti sausage and ketchup but yeah let me know if you have any like cool spaghetti hacks or fun ways to eat it um i'm all about that i really love like fun foods and I'm not ashamed to say I really love these kit menus still. It's just a really solid dish. Um, but yeah, sometimes it gets a bit boring because I really need my vegetables. I don't know about you guys, but if I had to eat it in like seven days a week, I would probably add some type of vegetable on the side, but maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, onto the artwork again. I'm trying to put this orange color around the sausages just to make them stand out from the pasta because they are kind of laying on top. And I'm also using it to shade around the corners of the pasta. And initially I really thought I was like ruining it with this orange, but it kind of gives it that ketchup feel. So I think it worked out in the end. And I also added some white Posca markers to the raspberry and this artwork and the last one I'm going to do. But you will see that in the end. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing my little dually signature here. And on to the last one of these favorite food to make when you don't know what to draw in your sketchbook. I don't know if you can guess what this is, maybe you can because it's just been Easter and yes, it is in fact Easter eggs. Um, I really wanted to do chocolate but I couldn't really find a fun way to do like a chocolate bar, I thought that was a bit boring so I came up with the idea of making these cute little chocolate eggs and um, give them their own kind of personality and different kinds of faces. So the first one on the bottom here is just a cute little, maybe it's a bit young chocolate egg, being a bit um, scared or shocked. And the other one I'm drawing here is taking off his hat and saying hello. Maybe that's why the other one is shocked, because he took off the top of his head. And yeah, that's where your brain would be. But of course, these are like hollow chocolate eggs. Um, 
kind of like the Kinder Eggs. If you had them as a child, I really loved them. They're like still crazy expensive, I think, for like a pack of three. And I don't really collect the toys inside. I just really like the chocolate and the surprise kind of it. But um, yeah, I know they're illegal in the United States, which is super weird for me as European. But we have them here and we love them. And yeah, we had them sometimes around Easter as well. But otherwise, we just have them all the time. Um, yeah, enough about Kinder Eggs. Um, but yeah, the last one is just standing with his behind towards the viewer, I guess. And I've been really into drawing these cute little characters, mostly mushroom characters. And I don't know why, but I really like to draw little cute butts on them. So, of course, this chocolate egg has a butt as well. But not, um, I didn't want to make him like naked, so he has his wrappers um, a bit down, and I think that's really cute as well. And I could do this fun ripped part of the wrapper and insert a bit more color in the artwork. I'm not really sure why he has his hands in the air, maybe he's excited or shocked, or I don't know. Yeah, he's just a happy little leg, I think. Another fun fact is I was actually on a chocolate factory tour once I was on a vacation in New Zealand. It was the Cadbury chocolate factory and they told us that chocolate actually tastes different in different parts of the world because people have different taste buds. Um, and that was really interesting to me because sometimes chocolate tastes too much of sugar in my taste. I really like the marabou chocolate. It was my sister's favorite for a long time, like many years, and I always opposed to it. I don't know why, because I just thought maybe it was too adult. But then I recently bought it, and I have to say I really like it, because it does taste a bit more of chocolate than a lot of other brands I have tried, but... Honestly, chocolate is always great and I will always crave it. Um, I don't know about you guys, what is your favorite kind of chocolate? Do you have kinder chocolate where you live or don't you? Um, yeah, just comment down below what is your favorite chocolate bar? Could be really fun to know and maybe I could try it sometime because we do have a lot of like exotic products here in Denmark and maybe sometimes it a bit, it's a bit expensive but it could be so fun to try anyways. We're almost to the end of this video and I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who watched this video and if you stuck around to the end thank you so so much remember to hit the like button if you really like this video and if you want to see more of this series to how to fill your sketchbook it really helps me out a lot because then i know you like my content and if you really like it and you haven't yet done it please do subscribe to my channel then you will never miss out on any of my future videos and you can also hit the bell notification that way you will be one of the first ones to see my new videos and yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, stay safe, and as we say in Denmark, hi hi!